Good morning, everybody. I've got a really good viewer question about Neville's mental diets. Now, this is from, let me just get it up here, from Laurie G. Could you maybe do a video that talks about Neville's lecture on mental diets? I would love some tips on how to change one's inner conversation in regards to others specific person. Okay, Laurie, we can do that. So I've just gone back through Neville's lecture because it's about 19 minutes long. I will put it down below for those of you that want to have a look at it and listen to it. So Neville talks about in this particular lecture I'm going to go through the main points and then I will go through how it applies to using it for a specific person. So Neville says, our inner conversations are the causes of the circumstances of our life. So in relation to that, if you're thinking, as many of you do, because I get emails about it, your specific person, and you're saying things like, they're so stubborn, why are they never contacting me? Whenever I text them, they never reply, it always takes days or weeks. This is your mental conversation about them. And therefore, as he says here, there, it is the cause of the circumstances of your life, as in your circumstances with them in their in your relationship with them this is why you get that okay so if you want <clears throat> if you want to change that situation with them you have to change your conversation and think thoughts that are different such as whenever i message them they always reply so quickly and instead of they're so stubborn i love how open they are I love how we understand each other. I love how our conversation just happens so easily and effortlessly. Okay, you've got to have that kind of self-talk or in a conversation to be able to get that in relation to them. Okay, so the next one is everything is a manifestation of the mental conversations which go on in us without us being aware of them so yeah before you start learning about law of attraction before you start learning about Neville and all these other techniques that you see on YouTube about all the different laws law of attraction law of projection law of assumption you do tend to just wander around mentally wherever you want thinking that there's no consequences however you are often living painful circumstances or unpleasant circumstances and that's what makes you go onto YouTube in the first place. So if everything is a manifestation of the mental conversations which go on in us without us being aware of them, then it is important to start becoming aware of what you're thinking about in this case your specific person because that's where your discomfort is okay so as in in the 3d world your relationship with them is either difficult or there is an absence of them they've blocked you they've gone away so start to become aware of your mental conversation start to become aware of changing it into what you want to experience okay now a man's mental conversations attract his life. As long as there is no change in his inner talking, the personal history of the man remains the same. So for those of you that keep saying this been, relationship's been like this for three years or they come back and then they go or they come back and then they go or this person um, is just friends with benefits or this person just doesn't make me a priority all these things that I hear at many of you say, remember as long as there is no change in your inner talk, your personal history of the man remains the same. So in other words, what he's saying is your life continues to be the same as it's been for the last six months, the last 12 months, the last 
however long your relationship with this person has been okay so remember your mental conversation attracts your life so what you think about your person is what you create about your person how they are in relation to you you hold them in a fixed position okay now on this YouTube about mental diets the girl there's a story about a girl and how she really disliked her employer so when you actually listen to it you learn that she has very negative self-talk and she's arguing with him mentally throughout the day so Neville says if she thought of him as unfair it is a sure sign that she herself was in need of a new conversation piece she was mentally arguing with her employer and others only echo that which we whisper to them in secret okay so whatever you're thinking about your specific person in secret in this case because it's not we're not doing an employer here but the same rules apply whatever you're thinking or arguing with your specific person in your head or feeling angry or hurt about your specific person in your head it is you that needs a new conversation piece okay you got to stop what you're doing in relation to how you think about your specific person okay for it to change so others only echo that which we whisper to them in secret so what you're whispering to your specific person in secret is what you're getting and in this case as you will hear if you listen to it she changed her inner conversation about her boss and then the boss transformed into being appreciative and loving and giving and kind to her so the same can apply for you and your specific person okay now our own our own inner conversation represents in various ways the world we live in our individual worlds are self revelations of our own inner speech so yeah whatever you're living 3d and in this case we're talking about a specific person so whatever you are living as in whatever the situation is with your specific person right now you are living it because it represents it's a reflection of what you're doing on the inside the relationship isn't just happening because it's just happening it's a projection of you so your own self-talk your own inner conversations about this subject is being echoed is being photocopied in what you're getting so if you're not getting if you're getting something that you don't like you've got to say to yourself okay what do I need to change in what I'm thinking and my self-talk about this person okay our present mental conversations do not recede into the past as man believes they advance into the future okay so whatever you've been thinking about your person today then when you wake up tomorrow that's not the end of it okay what you thought yesterday about your person goes launches itself forward and it goes towards your person and it creates itself okay so if you thought yesterday gee they're so uh, you know like you're thinking they just they're not giving and they're not they don't make me a priority and they don't call me enough and I'm tired of feeling like this like I'm not important and I don't matter so you've launched that instead of correcting it within yourself saying I'm a priority I matter I'm important I'm secure, I'm for best, I'm loved, I'm wanted. Instead of doing that, you did the other stuff. That goes forward and then creates the you not being a priority, you not being important for another day, another two days, another week, however long the universe creates what you projected in terms of the length of time. Okay? So I really love that. Our present mental conversations do not recede into the past as man believes they advance into the future to confront us so you know this is something that we have to look at is what we put out it goes and it, it, it creates something in the future okay now the events and relationships of life are your word made visible 
So most of us rob others of their willingness and their ability to be kind and generous by our fixed attitudes towards them. So while you're thinking, they don't give me enough, they don't make me a priority, they don't want me, what's wrong with me that they don't want me? So you've projected all that out and what you're doing is you're robbing them of their ability to be kind and generous towards you because you've locked your attitude in and then the universe has no choice but to photocopy what you're actually focused on, what your self-talk is, what your inner conversation is about them, you see. So Neville says, match your inner speech to your fulfilled desire. Match your inner speech towards your fulfilled desire. So talk only good thoughts about your specific person. Think only good thoughts about your specific person. Therefore, that will be photocopied and it will come back to you. Okay. Now, you create your future by your inner conversation. If you want to reap success, you must plant success. So that's self-explanatory, especially in relation to a specific person. An assumption, even though false, if persisted in, will harden into fact. This is one of my favorites. He says this a lot, Neville. An assumption, even though false. So what he's saying is your specific person's absence, say they've disappeared, they've blocked you, they don't want to talk to you, and you can't even get anywhere near them, okay? So what you would do is you would use an assumption, even though false, meaning you believe and you do your inner conversation about, I love how my person's contacted me. I love how they just connect with me. It happened out of the blue. I love how they want to see me. I love how we see each other regularly. We get, our connection gets stronger and stronger. I love being with them. I love the ease with which we talk. We have such great conversations. There's a freedom between us, a love between us, an understanding between us, a kindness between us. So what you do is you create that assumption even with the circumstances that you've got. So he's saying an assumption even though false, and in this case it is a false assumption because it's not true technically at this point, if persisted in will harden into fact. So if you persist in that belief and that assumption that this is how it is in that little self-talk I just did, then it will harden into fact, meaning it will become a true 3D event, okay? I love that one. It's one of my absolute favorites. It doesn't matter if at the present moment external facts deny the proof of your assumption. If you persist in your assumption, it will become a fact. So again, that backs up. doesn't matter if at the moment your specific person is talking to you. It doesn't matter whether they've blocked you, whether they're angry with you, doesn't matter whether they said, I never want to be with you again, I'll never talk to you again, I don't love you, I don't ever want a relationship with you, none of that matters. If you persist in your assumption, it will become a fact. So Neville is saying here, doesn't matter how the present moment external circumstances look, and if it denies the proof of your assumption, even if it goes totally against what you would, you're assuming, if you persist in it, it will become a fact. That's what Neville says. So, we meditate on a given phrase which implies that our ideal is realized. Inwardly affirm it over and over and over again until we are inwardly affected by its implications. So it's, he's talking about affirmations. You affirm something continuously over and over and over until you're affected by its implications, until we are possessed by it. So I remember doing affirmations so much that I'd get up to go to the bathroom in the night and as soon as I would start walking to the bathroom, it would start, I'm loved, I'm loved, I'm wanted, I'm wanted, I'm loved, I'm loved, I'm wanted. It was like it was just this natural thing. As soon as I was away, those affirmations would kick in because I had done them so much. So until we are possessed by it, that is where I was possessed by it in that particular instance. All things are generated out of imagination. All things are generated out of your imagination. So remember what you imagine, what you think, what your inner conversations are is what comes out and creates itself in 3D. 
If we don't like what is happening to us, it is a sure sign we are in need of a change of mental diet. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. If we don't like what is happening to us, it is a sure sign we are in need of a change of mental diet. So if your relationship with your specific person isn't the way you want to be, you must change your inner conversation about it. You must change your mental diet. Okay, so Laurie, good question. I really enjoyed revisiting that. I sat down and listened to it and took some notes and it is such a great lecture. It's one of my favorites, that one and Rearranging the Mind. I will put both of those down below for those of you that want to explore it a bit further. Now I need to have a cup of tea to wake myself up. <laughs>